Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys all of my aquariums in one video. This is my biggest aquarium. It is a Red Sea Max 250. It's a 65 gallon all in one. My first aquarium was a 16 gallon biocube, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago at this point. I sold that back in, I wanna say like 2017, and then I picked this guy up in 2020. Just about three and a half years in on this aquarium, and it didn't have none of this coral in it when I got it. It had the rock work all thrown in a pile. If you go back and look at some videos, you can see what it looked like when I first got it. And I, you know, rescaped it and just started building. Open this so you guys can see. So I have two built-in Radeon XR30 Pros inside of the hood. We completely gutted it and just put them where the uh, T5's mounted. It was a bit of a project, but not too bad. You can kind of see I got black screws holding them into place. I love Radions. I do feel like they just make my coral pop off and just make my tank look amazing. I haven't really added much more coral to this tank in a while and I've been kind of trimming things back to make room as you see, like I cut a bunch of stuff out of there. Um, so there's some stuff that's like starting to get gaps, but it's just, it's there's too much freaking growth guys. Like everything's just killing each other. This guy is starting, this used to be all Halle Berry Zoas but it crossed over. Any ideas here on what I could do? I know I could, you know, scrape it off of this side, but how can I keep it over there? So like, it stays on in its, in its lane, you know what I mean? Started as this rag here, all the way down. Just so much growth. Hopefully by clearing out some of this space, I'm making a little room so I can do a little shopping at Skelly Fest. Maybe, hopefully, September 23rd. I hope I see you guys there. VIP is almost sold out, so make sure you guys get your tickets. In terms of dosing, I dose Red Sea, Alkalinity, and Calcium. I got the J-O-B three pump doser with the custom DIY uh, Boss water bottle set up here. And then I've been starting to dose Red Sea Trace Colors A as well as some Offer Reef to get my major and minor elements in check. Oh, that looks so good like that. So cool. Um, here is the MP10 on the side. I actually need to clean it. In the back, I recently did an upgrade to CJ pumps. I have the 3.5 SDC on that side and I have the just regular 1.5 on this side. And then I ran them to my side controller so I could just turn them off with the switches. In terms of, that's where my dosing drops in. In terms of the back filtration, all I usually run is Kemi Pure Elite and Purigen. However, because my phosphates were a bit high, I recently threw in some GFO. You can see it hanging right here off of the filter grate. But yeah, Kemi Pure Elite and Purigen usually, you know, works pretty good for me. And then in the back, I just have a filter floss as well as magic pads, AKA polishing pads. Links to all the stuff I use is in the aquarium kit link. Couple of my favorite pieces, definitely the Grafton Monty. It's seen better days, but some parts of it like that and that just has really cool coloration to it. Um, I recently accidentally broke it off the wall, which sucks, but whatever. Like look at this piece. It just has really nice splits. And then all this green over here is gonna start, start popping out some reds too. Usually when I clip it, it starts streaking more into it with the reds, which is awesome. So if you guys are local, uh, hit me up. I got some of these for like 20 bucks for smaller pieces. Like I got a piece there. I got this one right here. I got another one over here. Moving right along, we got the ASD Rainbow Millie. I got a little frag of it there as well. It's starting to grow back. Tangerine Dreams over here, definitely starting to color up. This guy right here is the uh, Bleeding Avengers. Got a couple different colors going on because it was shaded before by the uh, blue plating sponge, but I, um, you know, cut it back and now it's doing good. I absolutely love the jack-o'-lantern. This piece is huge, but it's encrusted onto the rock and I can't really break it off without breaking the rock. So I just let it do its thing. We got some awesome blastos and acans down here. Massive heads. Interesting, the little acan behind it isn't doing very well though. We got our little Euphelia garden over there, which has been doing good so far. These frog fonts, these frog spawns have gotten a little smaller recently. I'm not sure why, but look, this uh, hammer over here just keeps throwing out heads. It was at four, now it's at five. I don't understand, it's growing so freaking fast. Duncan is always popping, full colony. Don't even know I trimmed some for the other tank. We got an orange peel torch here. Looks really cool when it's blowing in the wind. And then this is our little chalice and favia garden. Favias have started to creep up as uh, one of my favorite types of coral as well. This guy is really, really cool. Such awesome colors on it. The mushrooms finally split. I got 
I literally just broke those in half like an hour ago, so they're a little deflated right now, but they should be chilling in a, in a bit, but that's good. Finally gonna make my money back from those. And then these guys are thriving too. Not sure what else to tell you about the Red Sea Max 250 other than, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's all I got for you in this tank. And this three gallon Pico Reef was my next aquarium. We built a floating rock for this tank, which is really, really sick. We're running a Kessel A80 Tuna Blue on it. And in the back of this one, I was just running a uh, nano pack of Kemi Pure Elite Blue, but recently we have added in some GFO because our phosphate levels were off the charts and we were losing a lot of our A cans. Things have started to get a little bit better. I have one algae spot right here, but other than that, you would think the tank was, you know, completely full of algae based off of the uh, readings that we were getting, which was 1.93 for phosphates insane we got some rock flowers that recently started moving around the olivia pora actually has started to open up a little bit bigger since the uh, gfo has been in here so hopefully that's a good sign that things are starting to look better oh and we have a little recordia down here i've probably had this tank up and running for like two years now and the fact that it's still pretty much empty is kind of sad i've been wanting to just you know stock it all up but Clearly that is uh, not in the cards for me right now. It's been about a week since we dropped the GFO in, so I do wanna see how the phosphate is doing. I'm also due for a water change in about another day or two. Six minute timer. Last time we did this, even after two water changes, it was reading like over one. The results are in. I would say we're a little lighter than one. I would say we're probably in between the six and the one. Maybe we're like 0.8, which is, I mean, that's great considering it was 1.93. And when we did this the day that we got the results after the two water changes, it was like dark blue. And now it's like a, a lighter, more, you know, more representable blue. So the good news is that this guy is on the uppity uppity. Oh, there's our elongated dotty back glitch. He's a G, he just glitches around the tank. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's all he does. Anyway, uh, I also lowered the lights to about 60%. And then we got our Reef Casa 12 gallon nano reef. Never in a million years when I got my first bio cube of 16 gallons did I think I would be making a YouTube video about all of my aquariums and going through my like multiple tanks. This tank, I didn't customize. That's a lie, I customized the lid. For the most part, this all came as a kit, came with the tank the light, the rock work, and the sand. So I just put it together and dropped it in here from Reef Casa. We do have some Sino going on, but don't worry, our tiger conch is hard at work. Right back there, cleaning up shop. It's a lot for him to, you know, clean up. He needs some time. We have two designer clownfishes in here, Mocha Storms. We got Captain Blackfin over here, and then we got Gizmo back there, the little guy. I was only running the, uh, the hotel blocks that they give you with the kit, as well as the carbon that they give you. But I also recently threw GFO into this tank because algae. The light that it comes with is pretty good. It works for, you know, what I have in here right now. I did try to do some acros, didn't go so well, but I don't necessarily think it was the lighting. I think it was just the situation of the acros and uh, the tank you know, was kind of new. So in a couple months, we will try acros again once things kind of settle out. I have had the tank for about five months now. It is insane how fast time goes. Like the fact that I've had that Pico reef over there for over two years and it still looks like that is, is, is kind of embarrassing on my end. Anyway, this one has been here five months already, which is crazy. Like some things feel like they take so long and then other things just, are, are so quick. I don't know how to describe it. I'm sure you guys know the feeling I'm talking about. So we will definitely add some more acros once we get things uh, back in check. We got a couple zoas on the back wall, some gobstoppers. Uh, I don't know what those are called, to be honest. And I don't know what those are called either, but they're green. Uh, and then we have a little purple green tip torch here that is just so happy and extending so beyond his reach. I had to move this guy over recently, actually this morning, because it was, I guess, too close to the torch. And you could see that that head is not happy. So I scooted him over out the way. So hopefully he uh, fluffs back up. Everything else seems to be doing okay and we should be adding a couple more pieces to this tank. I don't know, maybe around Skelly Fest time. Um, I'm kind of kind of holding back right now so I can finally get some corals. Last year, I put on Skelly Fest Miami for the first time ever, a coral expo where there was a ton of coral vendors and I did not buy one piece of coral for myself. I was just so busy that I didn't even really get to go around and enjoy the event. This year I have some things in place so 
hopefully uh, I could actually enjoy the event that I host and not just like be running around all over the place. But yeah, that's the plan and I can hopefully show you guys some really dope corals as well as get some for my tanks. And our most recent aquarium is the UNS Foresta 35E, which is a freshwater paludarium that we put together here. Guys, I know you're looking at the moss like, yo, she just replaced that moss, and I did. And I added the mister, and uh, I had it running eight times uh, every hour for eight times, and it, it wasn't enough. It died again. But if you could see here, I recently added two more times, so it's going 10 times off now, and we are getting some green back, baby. There are a couple parts that are still not getting water, but I wanna focus on getting these guys that are starting to show signs to grow back, and then we can kinda tweak things once, you know, very little, once, once we got some sort of moss growing back, because maybe I don't even need to worry about getting this wet if this grows enough and it starts reaching out this way. But we got a ton of little fancy guppies in there, some cleaners, some shrimp skis. I don't know where the shrimp went right now, but he be gone. I like that they're schooling a little for you guys. Look how cool this tank looks though. And it grows so much. I have to trim this back again because it's literally growing into the light. And all these guys, I don't know what they're called. Um, we're growing so much out of here that it just looked like a bunch of weeds were taking over the tank. So I had to, you know, cut all that back as well. Look at that how thick it is it's like honestly two inches out from the wall which is insane that is such fluffy moss it has completely eaten this guy that was in here this one's still looking cool coming out from the corner once that moss grows back completely we are going to be golden i also my my whole neck is getting wet right now <laughs> but look that I mean, the position that we have it in right now is pretty good. It wets all of this down here, all of that gets wet. I think it was just the amount of times that it was getting wet was the issue and for the amount of time. Anyways, I got some really, really exciting news yesterday that I'm not going to share with you guys just yet, but get excited because it's going to be a whole new series. I mean, some of you guys might not care because it's, it's not fish related, but um, other of you guys, other you that kind of watch I don't know what I'm trying to say some of you guys might enjoy it so in the next couple of months be on the lookout for a whole new series that's gonna drop on the channel it will probably drop on Sundays but we'll keep dropping the fish videos on Friday so I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one later